So here's a quick tutorial on the elusive dragonfly posture. Seems like a pretty advanced arm balance, but the advanced part of it is really the hip opener. So we're gonna do a couple different things to look at how to get into dragonfly pose. First thing is to make sure that your hips are open enough for the pose. So take pigeon, right? good active pigeon, flex your front foot as much as you can and bring your front shin parallel to the front edge of your yoga mat. And then come on down to your elbows. Walk yourself over to your foot. So if it's your left foot in front, you're gonna wanna try to put your left elbow in the sole of your foot. This is key to being able to do dragonfly pose. If your elbow gets there, go ahead and work the actions. You wanna push your elbow into your foot and at the same time, push your foot back into your elbow like you're trying to stand on your own elbow. And you can just hang out there for a few breaths. If you're really flexible and you can get the back of your shoulder into your foot, have fun. Let's go ahead and try the other side. So again, this is step one. If this is not happening in your hips, keep practicing, yeah? So walk over, same leg, same arm, same elbow. Push your elbow into your foot. And this action is key. Push your elbow into your foot, your foot back into your elbow, like you're trying to stand on yourself. And breathe. Again, if you want to explore like, hmm, what can I get in there? Go ahead and play. Now if you're feeling like, hey, that's pretty easy, my hips are pretty open, then let's try the next thing. Okay, so the next step, I find this the easiest way to get into dragonfly. Bend your knees, make a shelf, and cross one ankle over your knee. So it looks just like the previous pigeon pose. Stick your butt way out, bow forward and put your fingertips on the ground. If this is already hard, this might be where you pause. Otherwise, you're gonna to go to the same thing you just did in pigeon. Keep your foot where it is, walk your torso over, and see if you can get your elbow to push into your foot. If you've got that, you're ready for the arm balance. You just need to take a little leap of faith. So put your fingertips down, reach over with your other hand, Lean over and catch yourself. Now literally, you're just pushing your foot into your elbow, stepping on your arm to lift your foot up. Easy enough, let's try the other side. So again, bend your knees, make a shelf. Cross your ankle over your knee, and let's see, can you get your fingertips to the floor? Step one, if this is where you are, Totally cool, have fun there. And if you wanna play, remember, make it fun. If there's no joy in it, there's no point. So, make it fun. See if you can walk your hands over and put your foot and your elbow together. Push the foot and elbow together. Take a leap of faith, lean over, heart soft. All you do is step, literally step down on your elbow to lift your foot up. There's another way. Let's try one more way, three ways. So some people prefer getting into dragonfly this way. So if you bend your knees in front of you, and again, ankle over your knee. This leg is always helpful to keeping your foot where you want it to be. Notice too, a couple things. I flex my foot, I spread my toes, and I even pull the little toe side of my foot back towards my outer knee. While we're playing with all this, we wanna make sure we do protect the knee. So I wanna mention that real quick, yeah? So here is just a nice hip stretch too if you're still working on getting your hips open. Slide your butt in, slide your heart towards your shin, and just feel your hips get all stretched out. The next thing, again, your elbow and your foot have to become friends. So see if you can get that tricep as high above your elbow as you can onto the foot, that makes it easier. But as long as you get above your elbow, you're good to go. Now you gotta spin around, place your hands on the ground, and again, just take a little leap of faith, lift your back foot up off the ground. I promise, the arm balance part of it is pretty simple. The advanced part is the hips. And if you have tight hips, 
That's, that's going to be the fun play in the pose for you. So, ankle over knee, strong active foot. I'm engaging all these muscles on the outside of my shin, all the way around the outside of my knee to make sure it's protected. Maybe you slide in for a moment, slide your chest towards your shin, and allow your hips to open. Then when you feel ready, I have to back it up a little bit, put your right elbow and your right foot, or whichever one you're on, together. Really see if you can get them connected. How high can you get that foot above the elbow. You have to root into your other hand on the floor, spin up, step on the hands, step on your elbow, and lift your back foot off the ground. Cool, have fun with dragonfly pose. If you maybe come up with any other creative versions, let us know. <laughs>